have their wives go shopping in other nations looking good and their children feeding fat. You see, <laughs> this great element that I talk about is when I see terrorists being treated like first class citizens of this nation. King X Men every day walks around carrying a K for seven and days, walking the streets free. But we, activists, when we go to Lekito Gate to protest and demand for justice, we are treated like shit. But I know, I know for sure that one day, like Nelson Mandela, this mess will be cleaned up by a savior, the Martin Luther King Jr., the Mahatma Gandhi, and you. I mean, you, the Jerry John Rollins of our time. Who will bring back the granite pyramid in Canada? The cocoa and the palm oil plantation. I know for sure that one day you'll be bold enough to stand with me and other Nigerians and shut down this banker, shut down tribalism, shut down nepotism, shut down religious intolerance, and not our electricity. Nigerian politicians. Shut down your jumbo salary. Build our asset to increase doctors as other ones. Shut down the lorries and trailers, shutting down our roads and trailers. Shut down the tax cars, killing more people than corona and cancer. Nigerian youth, the coconut head generation. This Sorosuke generation, it's time to say enough. It's enough. It's time to say our mood on to. It's time to say revolution. No. It's time to say revolution. No. It's time to shut down this peculiar mess before it shuts us all down. Allah today is my name and I'm the product of the drop of the liquid of our way. Of our way I'm called. Thank you and God bless. Thank you very much for coming. All right, uh, we are moving with the program now. Then I will call on the people that came from way. Uh, Madam Comrade Ewati, we give her the citation of the Baba Monsho from one day for some minutes. Then we move on with the program. Thank you very much. A round of applause for this person. Let us appreciate that for educating us to come for this program. Clap now, clap. Why are you not clapping? Aluta, Victoria, Amadla, Revolution. Actually, it's not a citation for scene, it's just some stories related by some comments. Being a radical from childhood, she was already depicted in different lines by various people. She was a journalist and pro democracy campaigner. Was named one of 20 New Jersey people to watch in 2020 by www.ng.com, the respected newspaper. Those who know she were quite well we understand and strongly agree that. He is a deserving of respect considering his trustworthy and consistent activism in the clear space of oppression and intimidation. Shura was 21 years old when he was first accused of trying to overthrow government. He was released but expelled from Lagos University and banned from readmission to another. Amayele Shura, another sat to fight very hard to take power from military dictators for democracy to become a reality. The records are in the public domain. As Shawara continues to fight for the rights and freedom of his people, he is consistently confronted arrest and intimidation from government, yet he remains focused. The problem has always been that we let people who through their notorious activities are in the public domain. This, we are more relation with it, make difference. Showware, activist, writer, blogger, 
and social critics remains committed in the face of intimidation from the government. And criticism, genuine or otherwise, from fellow citizens. It is misleading to suggest that Omayele Shore's decision to participate in, politi in politics cast him in the bad light of a conventional politician. He has never stolen public funds, neither did he loot public treasure. All along, Shore has always supported social justice as well as fairness of all, whether answers or not. Shore has taken to blogging, writing, lecturing, and he remains a human rights activist. Shore started Sahara Reporters in a small room in the US in 2006. He keeps pushing for the development of democracy. Our election Shore remains at the vanguard of the fight for true liberation for his country. Shore supported the democratic comeback after military regime. He keeps fighting for a sustained democracy. His courage and persistence of Shore deserves commendation. Without any doubt, Shore's investigative media outlet, Sarah Reporters, is endlessly dedicated to exposing ugly secrets of political leaders. Since 2019 to date, Shore has been under city arrest for a cause he believes in. Shore has always been a man of and for the people. Shore was the president of the Student Union Government of Unilag from 1992 to 1994. As the president, he was actively involved in anti-courtism and anti-corruption advocacy. In 1989, Shore took part in student demonstrations protesting the conditions of International Monetary Fund, into brackets, IMF, loan of $120 million to be used for a Nigeria oil pipeline. One of the greatest quotes by Shore is this, it takes teamwork to make dream work. The claim that Omoyele Shore has some ending agenda, firstly, spirit, online is lovable and ridiculous. Anybody who is close to Shore knows that he is a very humble and a simple man. Shore was really large student union government president for two years. During his tenure, he fought for the rights of the students. Till now, he is still standing with the people. Shore has made several expositions on the secret dealing of prominent politicians in the country and many organizations too. Our election were motivated by the need for a medium channel that could stand for everything right, started Sahara Reporter. Shore led 2,000 students in protest against the Nigeria government in 1992. In 1992, as president of UNILAG, Students Union Government, Omar El Shore led a 5,000 man protest against military rule in Nigeria. He stated that it was time for the army to return to the barracks and pave the way for a democratic government. In 1992, protests against military rule, the Nigeria police, in their usual blood testy fashion, opened fire on the protesters, injuring and killing several people. Omar El Shore was subsequently arrested detained in a black in the in the military barracks and gravely tortured. As a student, our election will put his one, academic two, ambition, his career and life on the line to fight against what clearly was a bad period in Nigeria history. It was the most uncomfort uncomfortable and horrifying period to challenge government policies in Nigeria he is a new role. In 1989, the very young Omar Yale got admission into the University of Lagos. He led a protest against General Ibrahim Babangida's junta over the regime plan to obtain an IMF loan, which had a condition that Nigeria's university at the time be reduced from 28 to 5. Even when wasn't in the country, 
even when he wasn't in the country. He launched his anti-corruption missiles against the corrupt Nigeria leaders using his citizen report platform, Sahara Reporters. Joran said, no power on earth can prescribe the undying desire of people to attain liberty. Joran started Sahara Reporters in a small room in 2006. Sahara Reporters doesn't receive advice from any government agency or politician as a matter of policy. Joran started Sahara Reporters to be able to create and aggregate news content. Social media tips and self-digital reporting towards exposing corruption in Africa and his own country, Nigeria. Even though Shore has been arrested and beaten several times, he's still fighting for good governance. Omaiyale Shore protested after the announcement of the June 12 elections in 1993, after she had killed Adela Moore, but was not sworn in. He stood with other men to protest. In 1989, there was no answers, but Shaura led the student of the University of Lagos on the protest. During the military regime against the politics, against the policy of INF. In 1992, sorry, Moment Omaya Le Shaura led the protest in 1998, when the winner of Nigeria presidential election, Chief MKO Abiola was murdered by the military. June 8, 1998, Lagos, Aurora Leda, you have caused big sorrow. Shore members of the Congress of Progressive Youth and Democratic Youth League, alongside 100 others, staged a demonstration following the death of Abiola. Omaiyale Shore led 5,000 students in protest against the Nigeria government as student senior president. Today, as ordinary Nigerians, he keeps protesting. With the standing ovation, I need to welcome the man. And I come. Come to the front. Come and give CDT as a writing message. Soli, 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 solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. We shall always fight power. Yes, today is a day that we experience once every year. 
and there is a day that uh, we want to celebrate one of our leader, one of our leaders in this struggle, and that is the person of uh, our Shekebo Baba Omoyele Shore. From us at the CDA Jab Committee for Defense of Human Rights, we bring fraternity and solidarity greetings to you. And uh, as we celebrate this golden jubilee, we know that we can only see better things ahead in the struggle and for the betterment of this country. You are an inspiration to many of us that are coming up. You are an inspiration to the youth. You are a symbol of good governance. You are a symbol of a reform and a renewed Nigeria. And we all align ourselves with it. Congratulations once again, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, now we call on social action for solidarity message. While we wait for our panelists, some of our parents are close, some are here, some of their way. A round of applause for Kwame Boti. <laughs> Clap for Kwame Boti now. Welcome, sir. How's everything? He's a little. He's a little. Social revolution. Social revolution. The only way to save Nigeria. Social revolution. Social revolution. Social revolution. It's my pleasure to be here this morning to give this solidarity message on behalf of my organization, Social Action. And uh, first, I want to say that we are happy to be here to felicitate to it our comrade, our leader, the fighter, the revolutionary, who has been at the forefront of the struggle for better Nigeria in recent time and in the past. We see the need to sincerely congratulate Comrade Amorilation Red for attaining this feat so far and we wish you success in your official endeavor. Our comrades, I want us to quickly take a minute to reflect on why we are here today. Of course, we are here to celebrate with Comrade Red, but it should also be a moment of sober reflection to all of us. Comrade Red took up the struggle right from when he was young, and today he is not tired. He kept fighting. <laughs> and I looked at this generation, the coconut egg generation, and we sustained similar struggle for over three decades. Are we going to get tired? With the current oppression and the repression that the ruling class is meeting out, please never. We need to emulate communism. We need to keep fighting. The better Nigeria that we all aspire will be here and we will all benefit from it. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you and the example that Commission Ure has laid, and we continue sure to look forward to a better Nigeria. I wish us well in the struggle for the better society. He is a lady. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Come in, PK. Who is that? Okay. Let us stand up for Solidarity Sun. Let us stand up for Solidarity Sun. Revolution, eh. revolution, eh. we want to do something before we die. Now done. Revolution, eh. revolution, eh. revolution, eh. we want to. 
to do something before we do revolution. 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 We want to do something before we go revolution. Revolution, I will people. Let us Nigerian people. We are here today for Shower at 50. But one most inspiring thing about this great leader is his tenacity, his effrontery, his consistency, and his rugbyity. Being a leader, they have proven without, with reasonable and non-reasonable doubt that he's had everything needed for a revolutionized country. It's been an honor working side by side with him, I've actually taking so many victories and more to come. In the round down, Mr. Omar Shore has devoted his time, his life, his resources, his personality to the process of a refined change. We're glad being here today to celebrate with him, but we should take cognizance of the struggle, the path, the agony and things he's gone through. Your yeah. Excellency. <laughs> Your Excellency, it's one miss every time not to use that attitude, but at this point it's so very much necessary to do that. The youth on the streets today are becoming more poor place than they were 10 years ago. Our hospitals have become dead tents where our mothers are left to give birth to kids on the floor. Classrooms today are places where you take lectures under the tree with bamboo roofs all around. Our roads are obviously dead traps. Why you see some of those youths today in Nigeria come out when you ask them to is simply because they see a future not far away where they can have good classrooms to get lectures. Where our mothers will no longer give birth to our younger ones on the ground where our roads will be places that lead not to death but to our destination. These are reasons and more why the youths go out to protest whenever you are involved in demanding for a better country. Understanding the fact that in no distant time our uh, oppression and suppression will be a thing of the past. And I want to shock you, sir, that you've not only infiltrated, but you've affected so many youths I've known around with not just the tenacity for excellence, but the ruggedity to dare. I must tell you, sir, I came with one particular guy here today, sir, and I wanted to meet him. I was told while he was sleep, while he was sleeping, he was just muttering, shawere, shawere. And they were like, <laughs> Sydney, you allow this guy gone mad. Please help me. If I mean he's here, just come outside. <laughs> it's going to be a shot with you today, sir. He's not had the opportunity to meet you one, but that is just how crazy they have become. <laughs> Please come back. Please, you have a snapshot with him. So, not to take more time, but the point is that Mr. Omar Shore has infected so many Nigerian youths today with the virus. Most of them might not have the the courage to come on the street when demanded. But when we listen to them on the street, when we go out to eat trees on, in transport, all the name they call is Shore, Shore. Why? Because he's devoted his time and energy to rescuing our country from the hands of tyrants who had hijacked the instrumentality of power against our common concern unity. They have stolen our cultural heritage, they have demonized our electoral processes, 
they have taken the political consciousness of the people, they are making our people not worth it. But they are seeing a man who could bring liberty, could bring freedom, who could bring liberation to them. And that is why we are here today at Shore 50. Greatest Nigerian people! Greatest Nigerian people! Yes. Yes, Oh, you want me to take the shot now? Absolutely. Is he willing to go to prison? <laughs> 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 we want to do something before we go. <laughs> While the program is going on, uh, we have uh, with us uh, Comet Deji Kola from Pengasson. You are welcome, sir. Stand up for recognition. So that when the second is Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Clap for him now. All right, uh, the program is on. We have some little technical issues with our video documentary, but we are getting over it. So we, as we were speaking, Benga uh, came in, Benga is from the YPP. Benga! Oh, it's not all right. All right. Then uh, the program continues. We call on. Uh, we have a series of people on agenda. When I saw them, I will say I have recognized them. When it's time to recognize them, they will disappear. Or maybe Zima Rice or something. So we recognize you for solidarity message. Sir. Come and give the solidarity message. Bob, come and help him. Big guy, you have been caught. When you come to public program like this, you need to be decorum. You came in, I recognize you. You are not going to see from any state. Solidarity. Forever. Solidarity. Forever. Uh, I don't have what to say. Only to pray to Almighty God. Continue to give this our man the, the strength to carry every nation along to succeed all the all the, all the, all the, all the, all the struggle. Let the water earth guide him. Let the heaven guide him and protect him. So no one come from against him that come. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, we are organizing people who are from the Vega, the Deputy Organizing Secretary of the YPD, from the Deputy National Union of the uh, YPD. He also came in solidarity to celebrate with us on the day of uh, the show. Uh, so, we are organizing that for solidarity. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, would you prefer to take this house? Yes. That's, okay. You are going to have to. I saw the revolution now. Okay, I'm being a young person like you. I think I'll say I'm. Uh, I think I'll say all the people here. But I'll start by wishing my brother a happy birthday. I wish you long life, greater glories, and uh, may God take you to your land promise. That which is started, God will give you. And even grace is complete. And um, so we Nigerian youth, I, I think I want to say a very big thank you to you all for having come this far to support what you believe in. You see, whatever you're doing now, you might not know the effect of it because you might see it as a joke. Rome wasn't built in a day. I, I, I think I started politics quite early, but uh, it doesn't necessarily matter. It, um, it's, a, it's a function of uh, how, how, how um, determined you are. A lot of, I know people who started with me who are nowhere to be found. So it's just about your zeal to work, 
and the purpose for which you are here. Nigeria will be good again. We will get the good Nigeria. We will get the new Nigeria. So that we start the program then. Proper. They started properly. Now they are starting proper. Alright, so from a Vivian, you are invited to the right table. From the other. Okay, because the Jadi on record. She's on the panel. A round of applause for from a Vivian. Started. And the importance of this program is to continue to mobilize and dedicate ourselves to the struggle for social transformation in Nigeria. You know, it's important. You know, I saw one comment on the last post one day. They see you now, they suffer well. Now, when you die, they, they celebrate you. You know, that kind of mentality. So, when I don't, I don't love to that kind of thing. Uh, we have to celebrate ourselves when we are alive. Uh, so, welcome everybody. We have, uh, when the panelists are coming in, we continue to recognize them. So, a round of applause for this beautiful and some comrades on the ITV. Why are we going to come to the video? She has to start talking about that. Eh? If I start talking about that, I will not leave here again, though. So, let us move on with the program. So, we recognize everybody. So, uh, the topic we are discussing is someone you lay so and the struggle for social justice in Nigeria. And you know, everybody knows that uh, why we are preparing this program. One of uh, the main moderators of this program he was arrested and beaten up somewhere in uh, Togate, Adeljo, police station, the one uh, Eza, I don't remember. But you know the reality was that while we are presenting a program, and just about three months ago, we just battled with uh, NSAS for almost uh, 15 days and many millions of Indians on the streets. You now wonder that within the two, three months after, this is still happening to us in this country. So that apparently we are fighting. It's like we are fighting demons, we are fighting elements who don't care about our life, who don't care, who don't even respect the dignity, you know. So in reality, the sense also sends a signal to us that uh, something is practically wrong. And it shows that many of us who are calling for revolution, we are the most correct as we stand now. You know why? You cannot, it shows that you cannot correct anything within this rotting system. And that is why many of us are dedicated to organizing and building on the future. And that is why the topic is also much broader, so that we have people from diverse backgrounds come and speak, let us chat way forward. We don't need to hang ourselves as a sectarian, alternative, and thinking that uh, we, you know, we're going to win one day. We have to come together to do that, uh, that movement. So I will start with Comrade uh, the Jifala uh, Wale. We will be taking us through the, the, the understanding of. Uh, of uh, the social justice itself. Well, everybody was speaking for the first minute and with the second question is taking us well, social justice. How far is the struggle of social justice uh, in Nigeria? Thank you very much for having us. Solidarity. Solidarity. Revolution. Now. Revolution. Now. Firstly, let me thank all of us that are able to make it here. You know what the Bible says, many are called, but few are chosen. You have decided to stand on the path of truth and social justice. 
if uh, Babashio was uh, a politician in the Nigerian palace, we would know the kind of people that would be here. But what has always determined fighters, and I'm talking from people like Ganifa Waini, what has always defined them is the caliber of people that are with them at moments like this. When Ghani was alive, when he used to hold his death days, and Babasho would bear me out, it was the downtrodden that were always in his house on his death day. The so-called I am mighty, the so-called politicians were nowhere to be found. But when he died, all of them were falling over themselves to be at his burial and to keep praises on him. Uh, firstly, or secondly, is to wish Babasho. I've always called him Babasho since like 1991. You know, and uh, is to wish him a very happy birthday. When you go to reactions online today, you see many people saying many things. But one thing that is clear in what everybody is saying is that this man is a dogged fighter. Somebody used the word rocket earlier, and I agree with that word. He's not only dogged, he's rocket. You know, he's fearless. I know I've been told to talk about social justice, but you cannot have social justice without having justice in itself. That really is the focus for us to do anything. And show as a person, since I knew him, I've been fighting for justice. Not just social justice, political justice, legal justice, and of course, social justice. My very first encounter with him was in Erika Hall in 1991. I just entered him at the end of 1990. And it was at the time, welfare secretary of Erika Hall, you know, and we had an issue that time, and it was quick to help us respond to it. You know, we were jam-wise, we didn't know anything. They were a year ahead of us, so they were already on ground in, in the school at the time. You know, and that was my first inclination of my, my first experience, you know, with him. And it was obvious that this is a man who was dogged, who was determined to fight for other people. One of the things that I saw, and I'm going to relate some of the things that my, like my interaction with him, with the topic about social justice. One of the things that I saw about him was his fearlessness. He was fearless. I, I was watching the video uh, two days ago of uh, Mr. Macaroni that was, that was kidnapped by the police along with Jimo and some of, some of our other comrades, you know, and the way they were beating and everything. And one of the things the guy was saying, which resonates, resonated well with me, was that it's not as if you know they fear. So before he came out that day, he was, fear, he was fearful. He didn't want to come out. That is one thing that you define, show his fearless. He, in situations where you think that, oh, look, we need to take things easy and see how do we go, how do we navigate this, show we are the forefront, and that is why many of us have followed him over the years. He has never been like a full army heads man that will put his cattle in front and be at the back. He will be the one in front, and we all will be following him at the back. He has exhibited that fearlessness. In fact, I'll give you a small story. When we were in the lag, I think I think I was in year two or year three, I can't remember. But this was in the heat of the June 12th struggle. And there were so many adults at the time. There was a time a friend of ours, we called him Aluta. That shows you the kind of thing he was involved in. He said, Ah, come on. We have to be careful though. This show. Every time now in the difference, there are no feet arrest time. They don't do anything to them. And he always goes and comes back. Maybe we should, maybe this guy they use Juju. You know, like a legit guy. They don't cook out for house. We said, hmm. what do we do? And I said, maybe we don't do for Babala, we will give us something to go hold. 
Anytime we should go to a church. I've not told you this story before. Then time we go to a church so that at least we go strong very well. We are not happy about that one. We just speaking. We went to meet him at far. Also a student in his life. He did some this thing for us. He said, but the, the things he said were things that he could not afford to do. Say, oh, if you go to the toilet, don't hold this. If you do this, don't hold that. Oh boy, you can't make two months with this. This thing is too much. You cannot afford to go by this uh, precepts that you are telling us. You know? So, of course, we, we couldn't do what the Alpha said we should do. But wh why, why I say that is because of the, the way we saw him. We saw show that this guy was completely fearless. Many a times, there will be things that you would think that, oh, this thing is over the moon. Not, we can't do anything about it. And he will lead us. And he will tell us, don't worry, we will get these things done. And we did get it done. I, I'm not going to go, maybe not now, into his story from when he was welfare, chair, uh, welfare secretary of America to chairman and to president of all Street, where he lag at the time was the headquarters of Abuja in Nigeria. And it was more so because the seat of government was in Lagos. And so any time Unilag sneezed, the whole country caught cold. And we can see, some, I've seen some videos online today about some of the struggles in 93, in 95, in 98, and some of the things that are even not documented on video. Is the attack on him in, in, in Unilag in, in 1994. You know, so, 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 so many things that have been... Uh, you know, Bangida said when I will all die. That in Nigeria, you are defined, your politics is defined by either you are with Awo or you are not. And I'm not trying to make a comparison here, but it's a comparison that we we'll eventually get to make. Because history will vindicate this thing that we are saying. He said that Nigerian politics was defined by either you are with Awo or you are not with Awo. Today in Nigeria, we can say it clearly, without any equivocation, that today, politics in Nigeria today, as we speak, is defined by either you are with show or you are not with show. That is the extent to which this man has gone. We may not see it now, but we are going to see it eventually. That, yeah, okay, some of us here can see it, but those outside may not be able to see it. But they will come to that realization later. It was just like Saul was converted to Paul. Those people will also be converted to this vision that you are seeing today. Yes. So the important thing is, you look at the life of Awolowo. And you look at the life of Shulwe. They are divergent, but they are also convergent. And one of the things that Awolowo thought for was social justice. And that was social justice. Ensuring that people have access to basic things of life. Education, healthcare, social infrastructure. Why, why is everybody talking about Jack Day when he passed away recently? It's some of the things that they did. Why do I power? And these things are based on what I would know what I said his disciples must do. In fact, it was called the five cardinal principles of UPN at the time. Free health, free education, rural, uh, rural integration. I can't remember the two other ones, but they are key things. People like us I always boast that I went to Jack Day school. My school was not existent until Jack Day became governor of Lagos. There was no school that called my school until Jack Day became governor and he created that school. And he almost got to the number of schools in Lagos State when he was governor. Before then, when we were in primary school, we were going to morning and afternoon. If you were in primary one and two, you go to morning school. Yes. Primary one, two, and six, you go to morning school. Three, four, five, you go to afternoon school. That's why we finished primary school. But by the time we got into Secondary school, Jack had become president, and then he had, uh, he had brought out such a way that education was free and everybody could go to school. But why am I saying this? I would know I've said this before to, to show. I would know is the only politician of notes in Nigeria that was detained, quarantined in a place because he was standing trial. Today, Show is being quarantined in Abuja because he's standing trial. <laughs> Our was, was standing trial for treasonable felony. Show is standing trial for treasonable felony. Mm -hmm. So we can see 
the correlation between them. Our normal fought for social justice, as I said before, show continues to fight for social justice. And what if you look at what has he been fighting for? It's the same things that we all plan for. How come, as my brother Sidney was saying, the children of the poor cannot go to school? How come women have to die? The former minister of health said that the mortality rates, the maternal mortality rates in Nigeria is akin to a full load play, a seven three seven, crashing every day. That is the rate at which women die while giving birth in Nigeria of today. It is something that is completely avoidable. You know, we'll, we'll come, I'm sure, to other, other things that they have been told that my time is up. But we must know that the fight for social justice cannot end. The fight for good governance cannot end. We must continue to fight. Show as fought, he is fighting, and we want to fight a good fight. For those of us that are here, we have to take the vaccine, and I'm happy that some of us are taking the vaccine. We have to take the vaccine and continue fighting. These guys are Bukaniers, they are cannibals. They would not take their teeth out of the carrier, except you force them out. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much, Governor. Please, uh, Larry, go and look at the parade everywhere. There's only three people that are allowed to stay. Like anybody can want to steal our food. You see it with the food. The guy who is with the books. Any other person you see, back in his That's why they are here, please. Thank you very much, comrades. How is everything? I hope we are able to learn one or two things from what the comrades were able to say. You know, the program is, we have entered the educating part of it. Now, you know, we started with the entertainment now. We are in the educating part of it. You can start judging and start to looking at yourself that. Can I also sleep in cell? And also be but that's what is attributed to activism. Whereas it's not supposed to be so. It's because the armed robbers that are in power realize the power in our movement. When you call general protest, when you call, even if it's a protest, you yourself, you know that it's you and Comrade uh, Boti and Comrade uh, Vivian and Jumwa that will be there. Before you get to the venue, you see 25 policemen. You now wonder how bandits are looking over the street of Benigar uh, to. So now we recognize uh, the coming from signature from the party of the right, from the Committee for the Rights of Human Rights. The struggle for social justice, how far can we go with it? Revolution. No. The struggle for social justice, how far can we go with it? Well, the, how far we can go with it if I have to start in that angle? is what our leader has presented before us, and that is revolution. Now. Revolution. Now. How can we <laughs> get to social justice if we that's... don't go through revolution now? The situation whereby you have terrorists in the name of Boko Haram who kill, rape, do all sorts of atrocities render some children fatherless, motherless, orphans, make our women widows. The ones that survive, some their legs will be amputated. So they don't have hand. Some are blind as a result of the attack. We have millions of IDPs every day. The same set of people are the people that will be captured and call repentant Boko Haram. They will be fed, give stipends or whatever they call it. Give scholarship and send them abroad to train or to acquire skill or whatever. Those who are the victims of their terrorism will be left languishing at their own mercy, without food, shelter, education, good health. And it continues and continues and continues. The only way forward is revolution. No. There's no two ways about it. You can't continue to preach. But there's nothing that we will preach today that have not been preached before. There's no education, there's no motivational speech or whatever you can do that have not been done before. The only way out of to get social justice is revolution. The earlier our youth know this, the earlier Nigeria, the masses know this, the better for us. If it doesn't come today, it will come tomorrow. During 
Elsa's protest. We saw how it went. Now they were panicking. They quickly set up judicial panel of inquiry. This more than three months that they had. We have never heard of any state, including a city, that they have come up with a tangible result. Or even have the Inspector General of Police or the Police Service Commission or the authorities coming to make public apology. Rather, we are seeing sort of an injury. Accounts have been frozen. If you dare talk about your rights given to you by God, not even by man, to protest, that's when you know that Nigeria is associated with good military and security team. You will see the kind of certification that you will doubt if such is being shifted to Borunu. If Boko Haram will still be in existence, they will gather the event where you want to do protests. But we cannot chicken out. The only way we can come out of it, whatever anybody preaches, is revolution now. And we need to tighten our belts, get ready, so that the posterity will remember you. Today we are making a comparison between our leader Baba Shoro and uh, our leader Awo. You see it. Because he has studied all this for more than 30 years. Whatever anybody is bringing to the table in the form of a spirit agreement cannot take it away that the world Nigeria needs today's revolution now. And we'll get there. We at the CDHR, we are prepared any day, any time, anywhere. And that is the reason why you see us always uh, being in solidarity and affiliate ourselves with all the activities of revolution now. Thank you, sir. Now, to our youth, let us not be deceived. Victory comment by struggle. Social justice comes by struggle. Whatever you can get in this life, you have to struggle for it. We cannot relax and fold our hands and wait for the leaders to hand over or pass the battle. We have to work wherever they are and collect it. If we need by force, we have to collect it by force. And this starts now. By next year, they will be arranging an area council election in their city. The upper way will be general election. We need to be connected and be active in terms of politics. Aside our normal demand in form of protest or demonstration, we need to be engaged in whatever they are doing. And getting ourselves engaged, we need to take it by force, it's not by negotiation. Wherever you are, if you go there and try to make sense, they don't want to listen to you. Remove the sense out of the sense you want to make and add the other one, which will give you results. Revolution. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we move to the beautiful woman with a round of applause for her. All right, uh, we recognize uh, from the figures of people on social justice and the struggle confronting the women's uh, movement. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, permission to sit. Right. I'm ready, ready. Can I sit? Thank you. Um, let me salute our very dogged comrade. Um, and those of my brothers here with me and the table from Rikachi. <laughs> and uh, each and every one of you, I bring you greetings from um, Social Action Nigeria. Revolution! No. Revolution! No. Um, well, today is, um, is a very important day to us. And um, that is why, in fact, yesterday I was not even in town. 
I was uh, out of town as I listed this. But uh, when I was reminded of um, of our comrades' uh, uh, birthday today, and I had to leave whatever I was doing uh, in Nasarawi and uh, make the trip back to Abuja here. Um, because for us as women, um, represents a, it's a very important and symbolic figure for us as women in this country, um, in Nigeria. Um, uh, Shabore is someone that has come a long way and um, he holds a symbol of hope, a symbol of light for us as women. Uh, if we take it back to um, the area where I'm coming from, from the Niger Delta, he's someone that uh, that we connect with in the Niger Delta. Way back when um, the struggle for, I mean, we all know about the struggle for, of environmental degradation. We all knew about the arrest, the trauma of uh, uh, leaders like Sarah Wua. We all knew how they struggle against Shell and uh, the brutality that they were unleashing on the people of the Niger Delta. And um, it was sure, along with some uh, other committed, few committed Nigerians, that threw their hearts in the ring. Yeah, 
right Stand up for truth Stand up for justice And freedom of life You see? Politics Of hypocrisy The more they say, the less you see. But you know what? But no matter how thick the darkness is, it can never overcome the light of one candlestick. That's why I say. The loud talking voice we first be heard. I know that don't worry, cause the weak looking truth, it makes a whisper and truth. It will always stand, it will never fail. Stand up for what is right, stand up for truth. You know what? Hold up for justice. And freedom of life Stand up for what is right Stand up for truth Never give up Hold up for justice And freedom of life See Those who know their gods we always stand strong So as you run along You got to know where you belong See Many are the afflictions of the higher man Body shall be delivered by the mighty hand That's why I say The Lord talking voice We first be heard Don't you ever worry Cause the weak looking truth It needs a whispering truth It will always stand It will never fail Yeah, yeah God bless yeah. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Help me with the guitar. Let me just sing a happy birthday song for covering there, yeah, please. Uh, that is a situation the contrast put us in. We can't have a good sound to really feel anything. So please, let's just manage. We can only pick uh, what uh, we try to <laughs> quickly. I 
guys, I will do this now without the mic. <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> let's, let's uh, do this together. Uh, let's uh, show our respect to him by standing up as we sing the capital of the Happy birthday to you. So we will recognize them to come on the table. That's the last final we're going to take for today. Then after that, we go come up. Our video document is still in main one. Just go and find it. We need to have it. It's finished. It's finished. But that's not the video we have it for. Now we have it. It's not fascinating. All right. So the, we invite the panelists to the table. Then we take uh, questions from the questions. Because me, the reason why I even came here, you know, the same thing. Now, okay. I had last time, I'm happy to let you this. So, but you know, the people who make there, my boss of every year came here, I had a police line, he has a spot in a set up with a keep up for a video for us. I'm happy like that. Anyhow, you talk. Anyhow, I talk. Okay, now. So, we have a chance to tell you that I talk about you. Yeah. We have a nice time to be careful. Then, uh, from the Gary and Giz, yeah, we're going to join the table. We are going to, we are not going to waste time. The discussions will be friendly. There will be questions and answers, so you can keep your questions. Okay, so we recognize uh, Mr. Kubi is here to also try the table. Sorry, the pronunciation of the name. Doctor, then I recognize my powerful Egbo to be part of the panelists. They are discussing the idea, so you don't need to go up the academic uh, book. What we need is to reevaluate, to dedicate ourselves to this uh, struggle. Four or five minutes to talk about social studies struggle in Nigeria. I don't think it's something that should be difficult to talk about to anybody. <laughs> so we recognize you to join the table. We are going to spend a couple of minutes. You see, many people came from far. Many of them like, like, came from a far, far village in Africa. Now I don't have money, so I don't live close to them. Even yeah. if I'm living close to them, DSS is down. They don't pursue me. So now we recognize everybody at the table. We have the first panelist, so we have the contribution so that I can be questions and uh, answers. So, Now we start uh, from uh, so <laughs> we recognize um, another like person. Another person. Another person. See that the panel is okay with it. Me, me, you know that it stays on the floor. I don't know if you take time like this. You know Nigerians now. Everybody is busy, busy. Me, I also busy at the end. You come in, I tell you that I'm busy. So now we recognize a couple of minutes for discussion from Nigeria. It's important because uh, a day like this, we have to celebrate ourselves. And most uh, so there are some people now. As we did, now they don't depart. I say, ah, I'm gonna give them all. I will. Because you cannot go and do such a program in a chair. The important when you started it, you know, you have to be happy. 
So we left, we don't like to go to any exercise, we don't want. Then you want to talk to me, I said I prefer an exercise. You know what? When the increase energy started, and uh, well, and uh, the move so first of the September, we gather ourselves, we came and we knocked that door, we lock it for that one hour. <laughs> the president is not in trouble, so if it's not there, if, if, if it's after that, we want to bring him out to the media. Tell us why we cannot have the general right now with this crisis in this country, you know. So we are not fear. We will continue to oppose them. You cannot leave a resume for anybody. The reason why we have to do now is not for just monthly deal or subscription. It's for struggle. The potential responsibility of trade union is to struggle. So we have to bring the struggle to the other state. So they run the fire. And then they go fire fire. Well, we, we don't go leave this country. We need to program this. If they don't care, we don't do that. They want to say, no, 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 no one that wants it. Program, and, you know, finish your program. So, anyway, I use this method to recognize. How are you? How are you? So, we need to recognize some people in our midst. Uh, <laughs> we have to recognize some people in our midst who may not be next to the people, but they are here to. They are part of the struggle, <laughs> like uh, Mr. Amien, he always comes to court. He's the chairman of PSC in Abdiya, that's our talk for him. Mm. 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 Forever. Uh, Forever. Uh, Daniel from the movement for socialist society. That's my own organization, but it's a bit is powerful. Uh, Continue. Uh, so we have uh, comments you are recognized from the National Youth. Uh, what's the organization? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So when I get to that name, so I have some mail on my WhatsApp. I need it. Yeah, you don't recognize TIB. Huh? TIB. The WhatsApp coordinator. Who is TIB? This one we get ready to So, we start now with the first part. The struggle for the social justice in Nigeria. How far can we go with you? I will give you the mic. Look at what happened last Saturday. The commissioner of police in the Lagos quickly ran and go and write a statement and they will investigate. The panel started last year November on the end of the session. None of the panel has given any justice or anything. So we want us to four four minutes something for us to discuss. Like you said, you have other things. That reminds me. Somebody came to meet me outside and said, "My colleague, the agenda is fighting for." And you know, say, "I don't get money to transport go." Now you say, "Make I come." Then I remember that on the list too, we have uh, fighting for. Can we go for fighting for the five minutes for this or we should allow them to speak to them before we go? <laughs> go for the fighting for the five minutes. No, the person that told you that I can't go, you will go with the people that are living on time. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want us to do? Fighting for now, the struggle continue or what? Now. Struggle continue. It's now. The important of the fighting for is this. Some people will come and ask you. How do you get money to do this if not that Tatiko is giving you money? How do you get money? How much do you get? How many days do you use this money? All of this thing for all these things. If you are correct, you are correct. If you are wrong, you are wrong. So, it's important with this money. So that the money will be kept with some of our companies. We want to do banana, we want to do activities, we want to go to court. Somebody wants to come from Africa. Somebody lives in Peggy, you don't have money to buy for his car, uh, for every his car and everything. So, the shopping part is important. I don't even have to raise money like this. Yeah. You know? But what I think is that uh, from the high table, I will uh, still, uh, if it's not the market, it's no problem. I go to the account. I can check and give it to me. To me. Me, <laughs> me is our financial secretary of this committee. I hope we will not organize this program again less than this week. I don't know. I will see him. So, the contribution is all about to make contribution. If it's on the market, you don't need to worry, you don't need to say this or that. But the total will raise the fighting for. Uh, I don't want people to donate and um, say that. Eh? So if somebody uh, is doing something, come and thank you to receive. So you don't want to stop anybody by receiving. If you pass your own and we have all emergency, no problem. Bob, you want to pay 10,000? Why are you calling me? From the media. So we have a round of applause from the media. I know why I said so, but I will not say anything. Where? 
What Rachel? Give away. We can sell your car. Okay. It will be given to pastor, not to... We are not going to be taxing them. They already know what is at stake. <laughs> <laughs> Being on the high table alone. You know, you have, when you go to church, you have this thing. They give one million donations. They, get, they have a special promo for it. Oh, yes. 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 But we are going to watch you and resonate you. However, you know, on this other side, too, there's value. You know that today, as I'm speaking to you, even their, their soldiers help in building roads. Now, what are our soldiers doing? Really? One of the things I said when I was on the president, I said, look, left to me, even our youth right now, there's work for them to do. Let's work. Because the, the amount of catching up we need to do, we are not catching up. And is that catching up that put money in the pockets of our people? So you say you don't have light, you went and you go and make a cement to come to Nigeria to give you light, Germans. You go and buy General Electric from America to give you light. What are you doing with your own hands? And your own youth? What are you doing with your own youth? So the kind of new orientation that we need. I ended up living that country feeling very sad and very, very angry. Because I mean this was something in Africa. We're not talking about Europe. We're not talking about Saudi uh, uh, Arabia or Dubai. Looking of Africa, we have a black man problem. We have a black man problem. I don't know who's going to do it with your tea. I want to see you. I don't have the kind of state power to right? I want to see you. Sometimes I get very frustrated and be like, no, there's no hope. I don't have the state power to take my government and they were dragging, dragging, dragging. I don't. I get very, very frustrated sometimes. And then maybe, maybe, so maybe this is where it's supposed to be. Of course, the other guys are there. The ones who own the power and the money, they are gathering themselves again. 2023, I have no interest. I have no interest. I'm not going to be there. I don't know who they are going to bring, but they will, I'm sure that they will ensure we bring someone who will continue the oppression and the nonsense and every idiocy that we have, uh, we have now become used. We disagree for them. You disagree, yeah. If you are going to disagree, that man is crazy. Last week, I'll say, look, protest. It's very, very important. And, you know, I've always said that, you know, protest is very, very important. Make, what I mean is the culture of protest. That no matter who gets there, even if Socialist Party wins tomorrow, eh? let's not say, ah, okay, I'll put a call on Socialist Party, carry go. No, we must always have a culture of protest. Because if I protest, if I, that's the most organic way and the most fruitful way of people showing what they have in mind and you know their grievances in society. If everybody goes to sleep and we don't protest and say and table issues at the end of the day society is the wrong ground. 
so that's the data rule. I wish I could have gone into the issue of social justice in even a deeper version. I don't want to leave you with that fact. Number one, men, we have a black man problem. Then we have a Nigerian problem. Then the world has a Nigerian problem. I'm telling you, this country is the most despised in the world. You want to step out of this country, you are seen as a criminal first before until you prove yourself innocent. <laughs> and not, so they know that your big man, your, your, your big man will come there and spend money anyhow and, and steal your money and come and jump in. Then they see your young people too, they are standing this one, running that one, and, and the other. You know, so what's the point? The one has a Nigerian problem. How are they going to solve it? I don't know. Right now, I'm just seeing a kind of mental research, just thinking about the old thing, and, you know, but I know that something will be. How to give, what to give, I don't understand. I don't know, really. Uh, congrats, uh, congrats uh, Ross, you right? He seen up to me by a few months, but you know, like I people say, you cannot say, you can't catch up now. The guy is seen you by three months, then you can't catch up now, let us see. Uh, you know, so the senior is the senior, and of course he'll be strong. Me, I'm not even sure that I'm in this world before, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> when I was in my campaign, I went to, I did protest too. I didn't carry my son, he was 15 years then. Eh? He went to National Assembly here. I've never really done that before. You know, even his mom, she don't know my son. So what, let's do it. Let's do it, yeah, put my son there. Okay, he did, she does. You know, but at times you have to be, you have to have your conviction, you have to be convicted about what you want to do. I also tell the boy, I tell this, you come and see the struggles, of your father, the things that matter to your own father. All right, so, Ross Ure, have a good one. I'm going to ask you Have a good one. Thank you. 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 Okay, let's do cake. 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 Let's do
Please, let's go back to our seats. Thank you. Ah, no, 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 I want to use this opportunity to celebrate you in the depth of my heart and to appreciate you for all the numerous sacrifices you have, you have made for The only thing you want to come to Nigeria and do is just to come for maybe one week, two weeks, and you go back. Nobody who has truly traveled and lived abroad, nobody who has truly traveled and lived abroad, we want to leave the comfort, you know, there and come here to come and be harassed and insulted. Nobody. So he must give it to my reborn for all the sacrifices that he didn't just start today from the June 12 days. Right through the consistency. You know, despite all what you can ever say about him. You look at the people insulting people. For this time you say you are insulting me that ah somebody is bankrolling me or somebody is punching me. Force me to do what? All the rallies I have ever done against Buhari since 2015, I, none, I have not gathered anybody above 200 or 300 before. The people that they are sponsoring, they gather thousands. If somebody was sponsoring me, you would have seen the kind of rally that it would be. In fact, we remove Buhari from power. So, somebody is, is foolish enough to be sponsoring me, and, I, and I'll be gathering seven, eight people in the party. That person must be stupid. <laughs> the person is just dumb, man. To continue to sponsor me for stupidity, for me to be gathering seven, seven 40, eight, 14 people, ten, 10 people in okay. Unity Fountain. If somebody is sponsoring me, if we get government, we'll not be able to sleep. Yeah. The government will not be able to sleep. So when I see people insulting Baba, you know, I don't get angry. I just feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them because even Martin Luther King was misunderstood. Gandhi was misunderstood. Yeah. Mandela was misunderstood. Yeah. And, 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 and look at what, what kind of insult you people insult Bella. So, that somebody is insulting me, me, insult is a moral booster. Because it simply means there's something I'm doing that you don't like, and therefore you hate me for it. So I'll continue doing it. So, and so that's my same appeal for Baba today, my ego. That you see, no matter what you say about, no matter what they say about you, they cannot take away the fact that they cannot compromise you. Sure. And that is what is most painful. I know politicians, once you, once you don't have a price tag and they cannot compromise you, they just hate you for no reason. They just hate you. So I have seen it. I have seen it. I know them. I have not, I've never said this before, but I'll say it today. I, I know many people that are in government. Many people. But they will tell you that bitch is a madman. He's a madman and he does not have respect. It pains them that you can look to, look them in their face and tell them, get out. There's nothing you can do to them more painful than that. It's like this man. <laughs> <laughs> that that you know, that because they are feeling like they are next to Jesus. They feel so powerful so that you can look at them and tell them to get out. And the most important lesson that I've learned from Jaworet is that, see, you don't have to be wealth is not in the you know, currency in your pocket or in the account. Wealth is here, it's in contentment. If you have five naira, and somebody, somebody that has five billion, he's poor because the way he's chasing this money, you think he doesn't have one naira. But you that have five naira, you are contented deep in your heart. You see yourself as a rich man, despite the fact that you have nothing. Mm. So wealth is in the heart. And that's the one of, that's one of the greatest virtues that Shore has. And as young people, I know everybody here likes money. Nobody that does not like money. However, you see, contentment. Contentment is the greatest currency that you can ever have. Because if you are not contented, you will land in trouble. For me, I have been in and out of jail since when I was 18, 17, actually. And I'm 41 now, so you can imagine 
how many times I've gone to jail. So I can tell you, I have met all kinds of people in this life. I've met arm robbers, kidnappers, murderers. I've met every, all kinds of people. And when immediately I go to jail, the first thing I do is go and meet people and start interacting with them. So I can tell you that if you are not contented, you will always enter trouble. And you will not enter good trouble. And the reason why it's good to commend people like Shore is that they always get into good trouble. Since from the June, June 12 era, good trouble. Even when they are, somebody wants to frame them, you, you will see that this man has not done anything wrong. This man has not done anything wrong. So, if you must get into trouble, get into good trouble. Trouble that even your children will be proud of to say, when things were bad, this was what my father did. When things were not going well, right to the point, this was what my father did. And that's the greatest way that we can fight for social justice. And in closing, I'd like to appeal to each and every one of us. The country is not going to get better anytime soon. Let's go and see about ourselves. Life is a journey. And it's not a 100 meter dash. It was not easy in India. It was not easy in Martin Luther King. It wasn't easy in Mandela. Well, it has never been easy anywhere before. So, I was, uh, the last time I was at the African Union, uh, at the Human Rights Session, I had a, the rare opportunity and privilege of discussing with activists from almost, I think, 30 something countries all across Africa, many of them in exile. And I had a wonderful discussion with the Tunisian girl that did the Tunisian Revolution. And there's something instrumental they told me. They said they kept trying. They tried, they kept trying and trying. They succeeded on the 11th time. Wow. So it, these things take time. You, there is no magic anywhere that you just snap your finger and these criminals will disappear. These criminals, these criminals have bullion bands everywhere. They warehouse so much money, they control judges, police, army, SSS. You can imagine the way our institutions have been destroyed in the country. As I said, take instruction from politicians, from police, Ministry of Justice. There's no justice. So, so justice. for us to do anything meaningful, we must have 10, 20 year plan and begin to strategically, as voter registration is coming now, we must get new people, new, new ideas. We must ensure that we I, I, I know that COVID has not finished, so we will be lucky that many of them will still be eliminated before you know, the COVID era. However, we need to strategically, we need to strategically look for a way to ease these guys out. And the only way we can do that is long term. God bless you. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you very much. Don't forget to see